decided to get together and form a band. So now we do this full time and we go across the country and play music for people and uh, hopefully uh, be, to the, be whatever those people need. You know, we, we meet a lot of different people, um, mostly kids that, are, that come from, I mean, just dealing with typical kid things, you know, uh, bad parents or whatnot. So uh, we just try to minister to them uh, whatever they, they need at the time. So um, we're going to play two songs. I hope that's okay. Um, this first song is called We Are Shipwrecks, and uh, it's a song about how we live in a broken world, and we're broken people, and uh, we deal with things that um, we originally didn't have to deal with, but uh, we felt, so here we are. Uh, but it's a song of hope where uh, we don't have to be in this place for very much longer, and um, that that's going to be repaired, and we're going to be new again. And uh, so we're going to play you that song. So. something we do with humans where um, we feel alone, you know, even though we might think in our heads, yeah, everything, everybody goes through the same things, um, in our hearts we feel very much alone sometimes. So I wrote this song because um, it was just kind of a, uh, an honest uh, question to God where I was saying, where are you, where are you, why do I feel so alone here? 
and um, you know he he'd answer me back and saying you're not alone you're not alone, um, but then I, I just I would push him away because I felt comfortable in this in this dark place because that's all I've known I felt comfortable in in my pain, and God God was just telling me you know you don't have to be like this um, I'm here for you I've always been for, here for you and I'm not going to leave you alone. Um, no matter, even if you do push me away, I'm still going to be here waiting for you to come back to me. So um, we just wrote this song. It's just kind of a heartfelt, uh, heartfelt song of how I was feeling at the time. So um, it's entirely reaching. So we hope you like it. same college a few years later um, and then they were uh, looking for a guitarist for their band. Um, the band was already going on. I, I've been in the band two years. The band's been going on eight years. So um, uh, I heard they needed a, a guitarist. They heard about me. I heard about them and it just kind of <laughs> fell into place and then they uh, they forced me to sing for them. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Just kidding. But they—they they were also looking for a singer, so they're like, "Hey, 
There you go. <laughs> you Have at it. I've heard your stuff on the radio. Yes. Yet to hear that voice come out of <laughs> that's awesome. I, oh, you know, you. I mean, it's. I don't know. Maybe that's just weird, but it's like I knew that. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So Michelle mentioned that she wanted to have uh, one of those. Where do you get that? And what is it called? It's called a cajon. It's called, it's called a cajon. Cajon. It's an Afro-Cuban instrument, oh. which uh, I guess Peru is actually probably one of the biggest places. I think is where it actually originated. Um, but you can find it, I think, at most music stores these days. Um, and people are starting to make them for themselves. Yeah. Out of, I was gonna say, I've just seen. Uh, it's just a wooden box. It's just a wooden box with a hole, and uh, it has guitar strings on the back side of this head. And that's what makes that sound. So people are starting to make them and all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah. It actually sounds pretty. Cool. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. 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 And I've seen them before. Yeah, it's <laughs> neat. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah. It's, it's easy to make, I guess. Yeah. Um, I haven't made one, but. We've got a friend who's a professional carpenter. I'm sure he can figure it out. Okay. Yeah, somebody or just looked at hers and made one. So. I used to I used to do construction. So mm -hmm. so that's kind of cool. I'd, 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 I'd seen them before, but I just never really thought much about it. Yeah. yeah. And there's many more things you can do with it. I yeah. mean, there's all kinds of tricks of like doing somebody. <laughs> And stuff oh, like that. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Like I don't know all this stuff, but right. I just saw someone playing it one time and doing like all this foot work and stuff. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. I suppose. Yeah, you're yeah. not gonna have one of those. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it though. But, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been playing that? Did you say? Uh, I discovered it about uh, two summers ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, I saw a drummer playing one. And I was like, what is that? It's sitting it's pretty on a wooden cool. box. Something. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just thought, I got to get one. So I got it and started playing it. It's fun. Did yes, Nate? Did you learn how to play it when you got it? Or? Mm -hmm. Did you? I was hoping when you asked her how long you've been playing that, she was going to be like, oh, four days now. Four days. <laughs> <laughs> New answer. <laughs> Next time somebody asks, I picked it up today. I just got one of these. <laughs> I thought I heard something this morning yeah. early. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, you yes. Oh. Are you going to be at the concert too? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep, we're playing there. Yes. So. Yep, we told everybody they could come. Oh, yes. yes. We let them in. Oh, yes, please do come. It will be a lot louder. It will be louder. We have earplugs if you need them. <laughs> that's, it, that's exactly what that's exactly what Joseph said. We, got some we wear earplugs too, so yeah. yeah. Almost all yeah. Do you guys all write the lyrics together, or I, I write the lyrics. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but we all help with the music part. She so. sings the song. Yeah. <laughs> What's the process like of writing the song um, for you, or it's it's different every single time. There's no there's no right way of writing a song. No matter what people say, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I've learned the Nashville way. I've learned, you know, my my bachelor is songwriting composition. Oh, but oh. Um, man, it, it really does depend. Sometimes it turns. I write three pages of a story, and it comes out, or I write um, just a couple lines, or um, you know, someone will come in with with a, a riff or something like that, and we'll get the music done, and then I'll put lyrics to it. Um, typically, I have the lyrics before the music. Um, and then I try to put it together. I'm trying to um, do the melody first now, though, which I, I found really helps the song be more sing alongable for everybody. You know, that it feels better. So um, that's how I've been trying to do it as of late. But it really does depend. Every every single song is different. Do you scream when you sing? Um, I do not. Um, we used to be we used to be a band that had screaming in it, but not anymore. I mean, I have some like. Raspiness to my voice sometimes. <laughs> I, I know. Like, but kind of have a natural not just like yeah. ah, like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I pitch. Okay. Just a random in the middle of a song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do that tonight, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> what a scream! I'll bet. <laughs> no, but I do have some raspy parts. I guess it's just kind of natural. One thing happens. We, do you do, you do like voice lessons? Have you done any of that? Or no. no? Um, I took one semester of voice lessons in college, but I actually lost my voice for a year um, because they actually taught me wrong. Because um, there's there's different um, 
like levels of singing. You know, you have your sopranos and altos yeah. and, and basses. I'm considered a true contralto, which are ra my ranges are way different than most people's singers, most singers. So they actually taught me the wrong way to sing for my voice. So I lost it. And also I have TMJ, it's a jaw thing. Yeah. So um, I lost it for a year, so I didn't take vocal lessons after that. Well, yeah, so, yeah. we, we learned what, at the Red show that that uh, the lead singer from Red, what's his name, Mike? Is it Mike or well, is yeah. it Mike? Yeah. He took voice lessons from the same 70-some-year-old lady that taught him how to scream and gave voice yeah, lessons. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, that gave voice lessons to Justin Bieber. So. Yeah. Same vocal coach. We're yeah. trying to, you know, intertwine Justin Bieber into every, every conversation. Might as well, right? Yeah. He's everywhere. You can't get rid of that kid. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, or not. Um, he's going to be 30, and all these kids are going to be like, Justin Bieber. It's going to be creepy then. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, then I'll be 28. Yeah. I'll be totally legal. <laughs> Yeah. So. Any other questions? We good? What uh, what kind of influences do you guys have? Uh, I don't know. I, can, says I mean, we can tell you some influences. <laughs> you probably won't be able to tell in our music because no matter how hard we might try to sound like someone, we just can't. We just well, can't. Yeah. I'm so, not sure so well, how about what's your favorite ice cream? Sound then? like. <laughs> favorite ice cream? Yeah. Um, because I miss ice cream I'm, as we talked last I'm night. I'm allergic to. Milk, That's so I can't, right. I can't have ice cream. Oh, I like yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt. yogurt doesn't affect me. Like I'm not really allergic to it. It must be the enzymes. Same thing. It's because of the bacteria. Yeah. The yeah. So. yeah. I like frozen yogurt. So. Cherry berry. Cherry berry. Vanilla. 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 She's plain. <laughs> She's plain. Vanilla. That's plain Jane. Oh. I mean, I'll eat any kind, of, but chocolate is always a winner. I could totally hear one more tune. <laughs> one more tune. One more. Jeez. Totally. Let, yeah. me let me tune this yeah, real fast, okay? Because it's like really <laughs> off. That's my new word. Totally. Yeah. Because remember that That's our new word now. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> remember on that radio interview, it was like totally. Yeah. Uh, she's from upstate. Upstate. Utica. You're from Buffalo? Yeah, I lived uh, an hour and a half south of, um, well, actually a little west of Rochester. Like, kind of like in the middle of Rochester and, and Buffalo. I've been to so, Ithaca. Yeah, I've heard of Ithaca. Yeah. Yeah. And what were you saying? I was thinking of But yeah, way up there near Niagara. Yeah, almost Canadian. Almost Canadian. Yes, Canadians are cool. <laughs> Not quite though. Uh, I guess it's EQ. You guys don't play electric instruments for the yeah. concert? Yeah, yeah for the con oh, concert okay. we're going to have electric instruments. Yeah, it has to be loud enough. Right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can you play your E string real fast? E? Yeah, your no. high E. Sorry. It's okay. It's so off. Play your D. Okay, so we're gonna play you Ezekiel. It uh, comes actually straight out of the Bible. Um, you should really read it sometime. It's a really epic story. It's in Ezekiel 37, and um, whole yeah, and uh, I think the whole chapter. It might, yeah, um, yeah. Ezekiel the prophet um, in the Old Old Testament. He uh, he's standing in a valley and. Um, it's full of bones, like an army died there. And for some reason, no one bothered to bury them or anything. So this army is just lying there. Um, and, you know, God's talking to Ezekiel and said, hey, prophesy and speak over, you know, as, as he's doing this, um, the bones uh, form back together, uh, flesh comes back into them, God breathes back into them life, and they come up, and they're this huge army standing in front of Ezekiel. And it's just, it's just, mind-blowing and terrifying yeah. to see that. I can't even imagine, like, it's like, zombies, like, but not really, because they're like, because they have souls, you know, they're real. But <laughs> they're real people that came back, you know, and uh, so I, I took that that uh, chapter and kind of interpreted it in my own way how, um, kind of like uh, We Were Shipwrecks, where 
we're fallen people and, and we're just kind of scattered everywhere and, and we really don't have hope, you know. And uh, But God wants us to put us back together and uh, breathe new life into us and make us new, brand new, but not only uh, brand new, but strong like an army, you know, and have that strength to, to conquer whatever we're facing. So um, this is Ezekiel. You know, a two thousand dollar Martin yeah. or Taylor, yeah. which I would prefer that over this. But oh, okay. this is this is a good, very you know, good alternative. It looks cool. That's yeah, a, I've got a I've got a Washburn mm -hmm. It's a three hundred dollar guitar. Yes. It. it sounds I mean, good. It, it doesn't yeah. sound nearly as good as my yeah. guitar teacher's like two thousand dollar like Taylor. But I mean, it's yeah. for a for a three hundred dollar guitar. Yeah, it, it doesn't stop yeah. for sure. So, so you get a decent. I have a Blackbird mahogany. It's I really like it. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I had him for a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, thank you so much for thank having you. us. Thank we you. do yes, appreciate it, and we hope to see you at the concert. Because, because that would be lovely to see you all there. Yeah. yeah. And I promise we'll have earplugs for you. <laughs> thank you so thank much again. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. 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 Thank you, Mia.